It seems like the Arizona Cardinals have become a popular pick as everyone's sleeper team this season. With a young, talented quarterback in Kyler Murray, an exciting young coach running a fast-paced offense, and the recent addition of possibly the best wide receiver in the NFL, there's little doubt that the Cardinals could be contenders. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. The Cardinals, they have a lot of improvements to make before they're contenders. And, and let's think for a second. Have we ever seen in the past year or so a, a situation that resembles the one in Arizona? A young, inexperienced coach with a young but talented Heisman-winning quarterback from Oklahoma drafted number one overall. And a shabby receiving core that's recently been fixed as they traded for one of the best wide receivers in the league. Now, I'm not saying the Arizona Cardinals will be the next Cleveland Browns. In fact, I actually do think the Cardinals will be good. But I think it is foolish to completely ignore the lessons we learned last year when it comes to overhyping a bad team. Just because there seems to be talent capable of winning does not mean they will win. A bad defense, shabby offensive line, or players just not having chemistry can easily derail any hype train. So let's take a closer look at the Arizona Cardinals and evaluate their road to success. This is The Profit Podcast. Welcome to The Profit Podcast, everything NFL and fantasy football related all season long with your host, Calvin Wright. The Arizona Cardinals showed great signs of improvement from 2018 to 19. In fact, they scored 217 more points. And while they only had two more wins than the previous season, their division as a whole was extremely competitive. Kyler Murray, he was obviously an improvement over Josh Rosen and Sam Bradford, but he wasn't perfect. His mobility actually sometimes did more harm than good. He consistently ran backwards, creating additional sack yardage, and his small stature made bringing him down an easy task for a lot of defenders. Obviously, Murray was a rookie and has time to improve, but will he? Uh, DeAndre Hopkins joining the Cardinals, that obviously helps the offense and Kyler Murray. And Kenyon Drake, he's a perfect fit for the Kingsbury system. But will that be enough? I don't think so. Even with a slightly improved offensive line or a better defense and the best wide receiver in the league, there's still a crucial piece missing from the Cardinals offense. A true deep threat. If the Cardinals want to elevate from good to amazing, they need that true deep threat, especially running the offensive system that Kingsbury wants to. With Hopkins in the fold, this role, it could be passed to Christian Kirk, and that seems to be popular belief. But I believe there's another wide receiver who is perfect for this role, a wide receiver that Kingsbury handpicked in the second round of last year's draft. See, Christian Kirk, he's a good wide receiver, but he isn't a true, just pure deep threat. He doesn't possess that blazing speed needed to take any pass to the house. But there is someone who does, Andy Isabella. Andy Isabella only played a few games last year, and because of his tiny frame, it was hard for him to adjust to NFL defenders. But when he did get his hands on the ball, he made things happen. An 88-yard touchdown against San Francisco and a 55-yard catch and run against Tampa Bay, Isabella was a difference maker whenever he played. Kingsbury stated that Isabella wasn't able to adjust in the NFL last year because they had to move him around a lot and use him in different roles. But now with Hopkins as wide receiver one and Kirk as the wide receiver two, the path to becoming the main deep threat wide receiver for Isabella is clear. I believe that the Cardinals are a good team capable of an 8-8 season, but, but with Andy Isabella in the fold, I believe the sky is the limit for the Cardinals. We've seen time and time again that speed kills. If Isabella can become a Tyreek Hill-like player for the Cardinals, they will be able to compete with anyone in their division. Andy Isabella is the key to success. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this episode of The Profit Podcast. Uh, Thank you for watching, it means a lot. I will be back next week with a new video, and on the Instagram, I'm going for five posts each week, so make sure you follow there and check out my TikTok link in bio.